Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with what I melted for the last week. So now that I am no longer buying wax <laughs> for a long time, I am actually going to redo my inventory. So back in the beginning of the year, I had done my inventory, but I had like written down individually what I had. I'm not doing that this time. I'm just counting how many items I have. So like a clamshell is one item, a, even if it's partial, full, whatever, a loaf is one item, a chunk bag is one item, a scent shot is one item. So I'm just going through and doing that. I'm almost done. The only thing is I still have outstanding orders. And so most of the vendors that I have outstanding orders from do send samples. And so those will skew the numbers a little. So I'm not going to post my official numbers till I get all my orders in. Um, I should have most of them in between early and mid September because the only thing that's going to be longer is my BAM bags. And those um, were from the first part of like the first weekend of August so I'm assuming the first or second week of September they will be um, done so what I have also done is I'm going to officially start counting my units as of the first of September and what I will do is I will just add what I have and I know how many BAM bags I have coming so I'm just going to add those up and then if I get a sample or two in my order then I'll just add those at the end and that'll be fine. Uh, but everything else I should get within the next week anyway. I should get most of what I have outstanding by the first. Um, I do have a small box of stuff that I want to make a like project use it up. I don't want to add them into my inventory. I would rather melt them before the first. So I will actually come back with that video after I am done with this video. And yeah, I think other than that, I'm pretty well caught up on everything. So um, yeah, I guess there's no other news. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I've gone through. So the first thing that I have here is Sassagora Aroma Papa Smurf Cafe. It's blueberry sugar cookie latte marshmallow. It's just a very nice blueberry latte, you know, coffee type scent. There is only two, uh, melts left in here so I'll probably throw this in that uh, project use it up box so you're gonna see some stuff in the project use it up box that are you know just a couple melts just I want to finish them up over the, over the next two weekends and go from there because the first is I think on a Saturday so <clears throat> I will plan on finishing most of these up by then there's not I don't think there's a lot of coffee so I usually do coffee only on the weekends but if I'm inclined to I will do it during the day or during the week Especially if I'm doing schoolwork. Coffee really works for me when I'm doing my schoolwork. And then I did some cakewalk. And this is strawberry shortcake, strawberry ice cream, a whipped cream. This is really good. A really strong strawberry bakery scent. I really enjoyed this. And it lasted a long time. <coughs> I've got a tickle from hell. And then I have the story of sea biscuit, And this is salty sea or sweet lavender marshmallow and toasted marshmallow. This takes me back to... When I first started buying from Julie, this was a very popular blend um, that she had a lot. I got this in a D stash a little bit ago, and it just it did it gave me some nostalgia when I when I started melting it. And then I did some Kissing Booth, which is Pink Sugar Hello Lover Birthday. This one is an amazing blend. So I love Hello Lover. It is a lemon rind shortbread cane sugar scent when you add pink sugar in birthday or just birthday or just pink sugar it's amazing it is really good on its own I do prefer it with the birthday though or the pink sugar or both because it does tone it down it's not as you know lemon like strong lemon from L3 I did some fruit loop cheesecake this will also be going in my project use it up box there's only two melts left in here so I will be finishing that up this coming week then I did, I'm trying to get through the stuff I didn't finish first, and I keep grabbing stuff that are empty. Holy shit, people. Well, okay. All right. <laughs> I have Sea Spray Linen from Better Homes and Gardens. I melted two cubes this week. I love this blend. It's a really nice salty sea air laundry. It's really good. I do it in the bathroom. Nice fresh scent. I melted some more of my pan in Modoc and Ron. This is just a very nice creamy orange blackberry hint of bakery scent. It is a gorgeous scent combined. I love Modoc and I love Ron. Ron, I actually like more than Modoc, but in this blend, they are gorgeous together. I did some more Sleepy Time from Sasuga Aroma. 
Um, it's just missing a pink sugar. I've said this over and over and I'm going to finish that up. I would not repurchase just sleepy time because I do prefer it with the pink sugar, but I would purchase it with the pink sugar. Another thing I'm going to put in my project use it up is Magneto from Super Tarts and this is lavender strawberry jam vanilla buttercream. It's really soft. The red, I have noticed the red oil or the red oils, the red color really eats through these um, clamshells. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up this coming week. Another thing that I've been working through is Leather Face from L3, and this one is Vanilla Sugar, Bits of Leather, and Blue Sugar. I wanted to go ahead and finish this because it is actually scenting up everything that's around it in Leather and Blue Sugar. So bakery stuff is starting to smell like Leather and Blue Sugar, and coffee stuff is starting to smell like Leather and Blue Sugar. So I'm just trying to finish it up. I don't like things that are that strong that are going to leak over into everything. Then this I got... Um, in a random act of kindness from Alina and it's Snuggable Snuggle Serene Waters from Sparkles Wax Melts. So I went ahead and did one cube in the bathroom the other day. I, this really bothers me that the label is upside down from the clamshell. Um, this is really good. This performed very, very well. It was still going when I switched it out, but I was really in the mood for something else. This one is heavy on the, like the snuggle laundry type blend. It's a really good scent. This is a vendor that I would probably look into purchasing from when I start buying again. All right, from L3, we have Snooze Button, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Bean Noel, Butter Mints. This one is really nice. It is heavy on the mint. I don't get a whole lot other stuff except for the Butter Mints, but I want to go ahead and finish that up this week too. Then I did some Rosemary's Baby, and this is Bedtime Bath Rosemary Mint Herbal Lavender. This is my second favorite bedtime blend from any vendor, my first being the Pink Sugar Sleepy Time. This is an amazing blend. I do have some bits left in here, and I do have a whole nother band bag. Is there anything else that I didn't finish? I can't, I'm looking. All right, it looks like everything else I have actually finished. So I'm going to start with those. So the first thing I have here is Casper. And this is a hot ass mess. Look at this. I got this. This came as a freebie in a D stash that I bought. It's fine. It performed very, very, very well. So don't let the ugly clam, you know, fool you. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, but don't let that fool you. This performed amazingly, just like any other clam. So despite it being really soft, it was fine. So I really enjoy that scent. I finished Doomsday, Plum, Iced Tea, and Lemon Slices. This is good. I would never get a band bag in this because I don't like it enough to have it in bulk. It is something that I would like to have like one clamshell of for like the year. I would actually melt probably one clamshell a year. It's just, I'm not as into it as I as I am other scents. Another one is Snow Mac Apple Spearmint. This one's another one I would not pick up a band bag of or in bulk, but I'd pick up another clamshell. I would grab this in a clamshell. I melt about one of these a year in that scent. This one I would pick up a band bag of. It's Gomorrah Pink Sugar Mac Apple Ice Cream Scoop Bread. This was so good. This just was bakery bakery apple pink sugar heaven it was so good that one i would definitely in a heartbeat get a band bag of this one i have a band bag of and i really wish i could get another one it's frankenstein coffee pumpkin pie vanilla wafers so i know we're not in fall yet but i couldn't wait and this was a partial clamshell so i pulled most of my partial clamshells to try to use up and i just put them in my basket and i really was in the mood for some pumpkin coffee and it just performs so well. I have, I think, a full band bag um, here. And I know she's going to do Fright Night soon. She did the Fright Night clamshells. And I know she's going to do Fright Night band bags. And it's really going to take everything I have to not order. The only band bag that I really feel like I need right now is Grimes. I have been waiting for Grimes for over a year. It has not been restocked in any form to my knowledge. It was about spring, summer spring or early summer last year, 2018, the last time it was seen. Um, so when that does come out in band bags, I will be grabbing probably two band bags of that because I have been hoarding my last partial clamshell. This one I feel like though, Frankenstein, I feel, cause see, uh, Grimes I would do all year long. Frankenstein, I feel like I would get sick of mid fall. I feel like 
the pumpkin would just make it too, too much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be happy with the band bag I have and say, okay, next year I'll grab another one. Um, I don't need to buy one now for next year. I know I'll only get through the one band bag this year. I don't need to buy a second one. So I will go ahead. I will buy one next year if I finish this first one. All right. I have a couple scent shots. Catnap, Sweet Lavender, Fresh Picked Raspberries, Mint Sprig, and Iced Tea. This is a mini scoopable. I got from L3. She had a mini scoopable lavender sampler back in 2017. Um, it was a, she had a sale and it was right after Christmas or right before Christmas. I can't remember, but she had a sale and this was in, this was there and I was like, okay, I'll grab it. It was just like seven or eight of these and my, I think there was only one I didn't like. This one was okay. It wasn't a favorite, but it was, it was good. I did actually do this in the bathroom instead of the bedroom because to me, the other scents, the raspberries, the mint, and the iced tea came out more than the lavender. And to me, um, it wasn't too much of a, like a calming bedroom scent. So I went ahead and did that in the bathroom. This one impressed me. Golden Willow Waxes Strawberry Festival, which is strawberries vanilla bean and cream. So I went ahead and I melted this. I had a couple things from Golden Willow that I had melted earlier in the summer and I got zero throw from them. But this actually performed very well. So I cut this in thirds. I did a third in my kitchen, a third in my office, a third in my dining room. Um, performed very well. I actually got a very good throw from it. So, and it lasted a, quite a while. So I was actually really impressed with that. So now I have some bags. So I have Tin Man from Super Tarts. This one's pink sugar, lavender cream, stainless steel. I'm really getting out of her la her lavender cream. Um, it's starting to almost bother me. I think I've melted so much. Like I melted a lot of Immortal Child. I've melted a lot of um, scents with her lavender cream. I'm just getting really burnt out on it. But anyways, I, I did enjoy this. I did start doing this one in the bathroom though. Because the stainless steel actually kind of overpowered that lavender cream. From SEMO, I have Rainbow Sherbet Mountain Dew Cotton Candy. This I got in that random act of kindness from Alina. I love this. This was really good. It was fruity. It was fizzy. It was just, it was a really good blend. And it lasted a long time. I got a very good throw from that. That's another vendor I got to add to my list. It's like my list of new to me vendors is getting longer by the minute. I think I have five or six right now on my list to try. Um, I did actually order from the number, I, I put them in, in order from when I noticed them and see people posting about them and seeing that people are getting good, you know, performance from them or good customer service. So I have a list in my notepad and my phone. And I actually, before I went on my ban, I decided to place an order with one new to me vendor. So I picked the one that was at the top of my list and that was Waxy Taffy. So I went ahead and I placed an order with her this past weekend because um, we officially started our ban on uh, Friday. And so um, it was Friday morning, evening, I don't remember. So I placed an order with uh, Christian before I went on my ban. So I did knock her off my list. And so now I have several. I have, I know uh, Midnight Daydream I want to try. I want to try SEMO. I want to try... Um, Empire Alchemy, Salt Mountain, and uh, Gypsy Monroe. Those are right now on my list of vendors to try. Everyone's like, oh, have you tried this from Gypsy? I'm like, I've never tried Gypsy. Oh, have you tried this from um, Empire Alchemy? No, I've never tried Empire Alchemy. I do have a couple Empire Alchemy things I got in D-stashes. Like one is a sample, one is a bag. But I haven't I haven't reached into it yet. Uh, I have no, I think I have a sample of Salt Mountain I got in a D-stash too. Um, but, and I think I've tried Gypsy in a D-stash. Maybe not. No, not Gypsy. Um, I've tried the other two, but, um, I almost want to post an ISO when I start buying again for like a sampler, you know, just to try some of the scents before I buy in bulk. So I may do that when I go off my ban. A lot of people like to put together samplers. So I'd be like, Hey, who wants to make me up like a $50 ship sampler from these two vendors, you know, something like that. All right. Back into what I'm doing here. <laughs> Grandma's Evening Post from VCS. This is from 2017. It's Lavender Marshmallow Vanilla Zucchini Noel. It is, this one's super heavy on the zucchini. Um, it smells almost like a lavender cookie dough bread type scent because the cookie dough bread is usually like a zucchini bread with like a cookie dough bread type thing. Um, 
but this is what that's what they're this one reminded me of i really enjoyed this scent her stuff gets better with age in my opinion um i have a lot of stuff that's newer that is not throwing i'm putting it away hold on to it for me I usually do not get a good throw till it's about a year old. I have melted stuff that was three, four years old that was blowing me out of the house. I know not everybody has this experience and I'm not saying you're wrong if you don't have this experience, but I would appreciate people not saying I'm wrong for not having the same experience that they do because I'm very like, okay, if you don't get the experience, I'm sorry. But I've had people be nasty to me. Oh no, VCS does not last over a year. You're lying. I've had people actually tell me I'm lying and it's like, mm, yes it does. So just because you don't have that experience doesn't mean I don't. I do prefer her stuff at least a year out. So my 2019 stuff I will hold till 2020. My 2017 and 18 stuff I'm doing now. And that's just, that's how I roll. I really enjoyed this scent. This is one that I would definitely pick up again. I am really happy that she started doing the smaller things like single roses unicorns you know all those because it used to be back in the day she used to only have bulk stuff she used to have just the blossom bags or the loaves or whatever um the four packs she never had a lot of the single shapes if you wanted the single shapes you had to get a sampler um and that's the only time you'd see those roses are in the samplers but now she's doing all the single shapes she's doing those og roses she's doing the regular roses she's doing the unicorn she's doing those wax stacks which is the like the brick of bar things um she does so many different uh, shapes now and they're all like small amounts i would rather you know, buy a three, four ounce thing. I only want bulk in my favorites. So I'm really glad she started doing that because that's really helped a lot. All right, Beauty and the Beast. So this was a band bag. I finished up Sweet Blackberries, Magically Delicious. I like this scent. Um, it's one that I probably would not pick up in a band bag again, but I would keep like a clamshell or two on hand. Then we have Peppermint Shave Cream Salty Sierra from L3. These were bunts and I just quartered my bunts. I put one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom. Just a really good peppermint shaving cream. And the last thing that I finished this week was Mystique. And this is pink sugar shaving cream. And this was a sidekick that I chopped up. I got this over a year ago. I know I it was probably early to mid-2018. And I am so glad that it's finally, finally done. I like this scent a lot. But these big bulk items are just so intimidating for me because it's a lot of stuff. Unless it's a top scent of mine, I really don't want to buy in bulk anymore. Um, it's just so much. Like loaves, I really don't want to get unless it's a scent that I will melt a lot very often because I get burned out so quickly. All right, that is it for this week. And I will be, blah, blah, blah. I will be back with my Project Use It Up melt box. And then I will be back next week with what I've finished for that week. And then I will have my August monthly empties at the end of next week. So... Um, I should have a haul or two to do this week or next week. Um, I don't have many outstanding. I know Teddy Bees is supposed to ship sometime either this week or next week. I know my Waxy Taffy will be here this week. Super Tarts Band Bags is another two, three, four weeks. Um, and then I just have Sassy Girl. I, I did order from the sale a couple things. And then I have the pre-order pre from a couple weeks ago. And those are supposed to ship with the restock from this coming weekend which I will not be participating in um so I think she'll be shipping all those out next week so that is it I will talk to y'all later bye